Hi, this is Gaz from uh, Stealth BJJ in Madrid. Here in uh, my uh, one of my students got his own little matted area. This is Luis. He's going to help me today with the uh, arm drag power guillotine. He's got a cool little space with his anime on his wall. Some uh, martial arts heroes at the top there. It's a pretty good space. A rack for a boxing bag that he's got down. Some gear here. Beat the shit out of him and then we're gonna show you a test. I know what they do. Tell me what's in the upper you. I'm a damn as easy, baby. I won't go give me gun to you. If you want to get a hurt, I'm gonna make up my eye. I'm gonna need to bang you. I go my eye. I'm gonna need to bang you. Do maybe, do maybe. From an arm drag position, we're going to get two, two arm drag setups. The first one is we go to a standard arm drag to grab the tricep, same side wrist control, opposite side tricep control. I lean backwards to engage, I take my feet out, I push his leg, pull him to the floor. In this position, the first thing I'm going to do is clamp onto his lap. So he can't pull this arm free, he wants to get his underhook. So once I'm in this position now, once I feel comfortable, I slam my arm through. I want my bicep on his neck. Really tight in this position. I now connect my hands. I'm going to pull myself underneath my partner. So pull underneath. Don't fall over, boys. Come to your knees. That's it. And then I start to turn my body to the floor and squeeze. Okay, and again, same, same arm grip. Wrist control. Opposite tricep grip, lean, so this engages my partner, feet come out, and I kick and pull. I grab his back here, and as he postures up to, to try and get out, try and push, as he postures up, because I'm pulling his tricep into my abdomen, it's very difficult for him to get his underhook back. Clamp across his neck, connect my hands, I scoop under my opponent, and I fall to the side. I like to put my foot on the hip on this and squeeze. Second arm drag. Sometimes in this position, um, I, I don't like this because if it's slippy or wet or he's quick, once I'm here, he can pull his arm back across sometimes when I'm trying to fight to get this head control. So, what I'll try to do is I'll try two on one again and I'll go same side tricep grip, opposite wrist control in this position. It's the same principle. I lean backwards, kick and push. But now, because I'm holding his tricep, as I let go and he pulls his tricep back, it gives me that time to feed him under my arm. It's not as tight as the first one, but I feel I can get around his head quicker. So I'm in this position here. Two on one, same side tricep, kick, clamp, straight away. Now in this position, my hand is on his tricep, so I don't have to move from here to here, because it's already in the correct position. Clamp my hands together tight, pull in, underneath, foot on the hip, and twist. And with the guillotine, I'm trying to force my elbow to my knee in this position. I'm tucking underneath him and I'm squeezing his, his arm into the side here and shutting off this. It's more like a triangle choke in this position or I had an arm choke, but I'm using my bicep to do this. So if you look at it from a slightly different angle here. So either arm drag you can do, I'll do the opposite tricep grip, lean, hip, clamp. So I must clamp. Otherwise, he will pull his arm free. For example, if I, if I don't clamp, he gets his elbow across. Now he's got an underhook. So I want to clamp here. Once I clamp here, I can move around his head. So I'm here. If his head's high, if he heads up high, please put your head up there. I have to move over. But I'm nice and tight. Hands together now, really tight in this position, okay? I move my hip closer to him, so I'm going to pull scoot forward. And I like to put my foot on the hip, my other foot on the thigh, 
I'm stretching this thigh and I'm just turning my whole body this way. Okay. And again, same, same angle, same angle, but the different arm drag. So I'm in this position here, okay? I lean, my foot is going to kick his leg, lean, kick, boom. So I'm feeding, feeding him to me with this tricep pound. Pushing, boom, underneath. Hands together now. And this thigh is also doing, this thigh is also up, blocking the elbow in case he tries to pull it back. In this position, I scoop underneath. I like to put my foot on the hip again, stretch this leg out and twist. You okay? Yeah. Tap sooner. Go and get to the point where it's at. Uh, okay, so we'll look at the, the other side of this now with the hands. So, we just get back into this position here. I'll, I'll use this hand now. Okay. So, if we're on opposite hand here, I lean, grab. So, I'm grabbing in this position. So, I need to get around his head. So, my, my thigh is doing a bit of a job blocking his tricep. And I'm pulling tight here. So, if he tries to pull his arm out, try and get your underfoot, please. Can't get his arm out. And if he can, it's very slow, okay? So, I wrap his head, and my hand is coming really deep under his arm. The bigger the chest of the person, the, obviously this is not going to work. Sometimes in this position, I can grab my own thigh, my inner thigh, just as a, a pit stop before I connect my hands. Then I grab my hands together. I skew forwards to block his arm more. I put my foot on the hip. And then I create torque impression. I put my foot over the hip, but I prefer this. This helps me to extend and get a better twist on the neck. Same thing again, I'm just going to use the, the different grip. So this is same side tricep, lean, extend. So now this, the hand is blocking the tricep as well from leg. Hand comes through. I don't have to go from here to here now. My hands are already in the right place. I just connect here. I try to get wrist deep. You can go hand to hand, whatever you prefer. But if you can get wrist deep, it shuts off more space. And to strangle somebody, we need to take the space away from their neck. I'm going to scoot forward, put on the hip, twist and squeeze. If they decide they want to jump over, then I allow them to jump over. Uh, and then I will just follow them if possible. But Usually in this position, I'm just going to get the twist and the squeeze and they might fall to the side and I'm just going to try to continue to get onto the mount.